Well, it's called March Madness for a reason. Fairly Dickinson University in New Jersey pulled off the biggest upset in tournament history. CBS 2's Steve Overmeyer spoke with the coach earlier today. Steve, I was just commiserating. My bracket is officially busted. That's These guys are coming out of nowhere. I mean, this is incredible. You and everybody else, yeah, by the not, way. But that's what actually makes this <laughs> such an interesting run yeah. to watch in the NCAA tournament. And speaking of the coach, Tobin Anderson is in his first year as a head coach at FDU. He's certainly been a motivational force there. Before facing top-seeded Purdue, he went viral by telling his guys, you know, the more I watch Purdue, the more I think we can beat them. And then they made that dream a reality. FDU out hustled and outplayed one of the top teams in the nation. Purdue spent seven weeks as the number one team in the nation. They've got the player of the year candidate there. No team spent more time at number one in the rankings this year. FDU was the lowest seed in the entire dance. Number 68 out of 68. They didn't even win their conference tournament, but they got in on a technicality. They proved it's not how you get there. It's what happens when you do. And now they're one step away from the Sweet 16, which happens to be here in New York. I asked Coach Anderson, with all that's taken place this year, what would it mean to play a Sweet 16 game at the Garden? That's a question you wouldn't even fathom being asked. I mean, what, two weeks ago? I mean, definitely not two months ago. I mean, yeah, I mean, it would just be incredibly, I mean, what's the word? I mean, I'm, and I'm, I'm an English, I was an, I'm not, I was an American studies major at, at Wesley, and so I went to a pretty good school. I mean, I don't even have words to describe what that would be. I've, I've, it would just be a remarkable um, achievement yeah, to, to, to do that, to get to a Sweet 16 in the garden. So, you know, I told the guys before Purdue, I said, you know, this is going to be hard. This is going to be really, to beat Purdue is going to be really, really hard. Just like being a four it's going to be hard. It's going to be an unbelievable challenge. But we're here. There, there's an opportunity here, right? There, there, we have a chance. We have 40 minutes to go make it happen. So just to get here is, is incredibly special. We got an opportunity. Let's go try to make it happen. Let's see what happens. You know, hang around, make it a close game, make it a, make it a four-minute game, and see what happens. So um, to have this opportunity is really special. And now let's go see what can happen. And yeah, if we got a chance to go to the Garden and play in the Sweet 16, um, boy. You know, I wouldn't have to fly back to, to, to Jersey. I could probably, I'd, I'd jog back. I'll jog back as soon as the game. I'll just, I'll just take off running. I'll be like Forrest Gump or something. I mean, I'd, that'd be that'd be incredible. So, um, no, that's that's kind of beyond our wildest dreams, a little bit like Hoosiers to do that, you know. So, um, but we got a lot of work in front of us. I mean, we can't, you can't think that far ahead. We always think about the next the next day, the next breakfast, the next film session. So, um, and that's what our, we'll, we'll keep on doing. Just keep on focusing on that and, and go compete tomorrow night. FDU will face eighth seeded Florida Atlantic tomorrow night at 745. Vegas doesn't believe in FDU. In fact, right now they are 15 point underdogs, but that is a role they're embracing. I just love the fact that he, he you know, he referenced two of my favorite movies of all time. Hoosiers Gump and, and Hoosier. Forrest Gump all I, in the same I appreciated the disclaimer. I know I'm a linguist, but I can't think of the word to describe. <laughs> right. That was I thought that was a classy touch. But hey, that's what makes it so exciting. And if they happen to play and win at the Garden, oh my I bet we will see him jogging to New Jersey. Yeah, you might, and I, I will <laughs> say they, the, the, the fans might blow the roof off the Garden if FDU is playing a Sweet 16 matchup there. That would be incredible to see. That's why we love March Madness so this much. That's why you love it. All right. Thank you so sure. much, Steve.